Welcome to today's yin yoga sequence for the wood element or the gallbladder and liver meridians. My name's Vanessa. I really appreciate you taking the time out of your schedule to join this practice. We're going to start the practice with just a couple of minutes of breathing. So come to a comfortable seated position, either cross-legged or maybe seated on a block or kneeling if you prefer. When you're comfortable, gently close the eyes and bring your attention to your breath. Try to let go of any thoughts and concentrate only on the breath. Noticing as you inhale and exhale. Try to slow down your breath making each inhale and exhale slightly deeper and longer than the last. According to Chinese philosophy, the five elements of fire, earth, metal, water and wood are the building blocks of everything in the universe. The sequence we'll be practicing today has been developed for the season of spring, which is associated with the wood element. Characteristics of this element are growing, upward and outward moving, strength, organization and flexibility. The wood element governs the functions of physical and emotional development, emotional expression, decision making, flexibility, motivation and coping with change as well as qi circulation, detoxification and the storage of blood within the body. We're going to remain here for just a few moments more now, so I'll leave you in silence to concentrate on your breath and enjoy the sounds of nature.
As we prepare to begin our practice now, gently bring your attention back. And when you're ready, blink open the eyes. In our first posture, we're going to bring the soles of the feet together in front of you, allowing the knees to drop out to the sides. We're then going to bend forward. Your back here could be flat or rounded. You're looking for a stretch along the inside of the thighs. To find this, you can try experimenting with the distance of your feet from the body, bringing them closer in or further out. You can try with the feet together or apart a little, maybe even with a block between the feet. You don't want to be feeling any pinching in the hip joint. So if that's the case, you might need to make some adjustments to come up a little. Once you've found your position, try to become still. The meridians associated with the wood element are the liver and gallbladder meridians. In this position, we're working the liver meridian pathway which starts at the big toe, runs across the top of the foot, up the inside of the leg to the groin, then up the front side of the torso to the chest. So as you relax into this posture, try to focus on the sensations that you're feeling up the inside of the legs. We're here for just a few more breaths now. Inhale. So gently now, bringing your body back up, we're going to come into a short rebound. So just come to lying on your back, coming into a comfortable, relaxed position, taking a few moments to notice the effects of that last pose on the body.
So gently bringing the body back up. We're going to stay working with the liver meridian by working the inside of the legs again. Moving into a dragonfly position. And you'll notice that my dog Luca has joined me for this pose. He wants to be part of the action all the time. I think he feels he needs to keep guard over me while we're outside. So moving your legs out to the sides, however far you need to feel a stretch down the inside of the thighs. From here we simply tilt the body forward again. You might find this easier to do if you're seated on the edge of a block or a blanket. Some people are able to easily come all the way down to the floor. For others, just bending forward slightly will give them a sensation in the target area. So long as you're feeling that stretch, you're in the right position. So once you're there, try to allow the muscles to relax. Sending the breath to any areas of tension. It's quite common to feel a slight tugging on the inside of the knees. And as you stay in this position for some time, you may find gravity has an effect on your body and you're able to come a little closer towards the floor. So if you can do so and then become still, or if you're quite comfortable with you are, where you are, then just remain where you are for the remainder of the posture. So as I said, we're working with the wood element today. And our wood element can come out of balance when we're under constant stress or if we're frequently in a high tension environment or in situations which can cause us anger or frustration. Many of us experience situations just like that in our day-to-day -day lives. By working with the postures that we're using today along our liver and gallbladder meridians, we're helping to bring our wood element back into harmony. So we'll be remaining in this position for a couple more minutes. So just allow yourself to relax and focus on the breath. Slowly coming out of the posture now, pushing yourself back up. We're going to be coming into another short rebound, so just coming into any comfortable position, either seated or lying down. Perhaps close your eyes. And bring your attention to the area we've been stressing, the inner thighs. Just observe what you're experiencing here.
slowly coming out of your rebound. We're going to start our next posture from an all fours position. So coming to kneeling, hands and knees on the mat. You can bring your left leg forward, bending at the knee. The right leg goes straight back behind you. And as you start to lower the hips towards the mat, just think about the position of the left leg. The knee could be directly in front of the body or you could try moving it slightly to the left or the right. The left foot could be towards the hip or further up parallel with the front edge of the mat. Hips could be on the ground or hovering. You could try putting a block under one hip if you need or try rolling towards either hip to rest on the mat. Then if you can, bring the torso towards the mat. The intention of this pose is to feel a stretch in the left glute and outer hip. If you're experiencing any pain or pinching in the front knee, then this posture may not be for you and you can always come onto your back to take a figure four stretch. In this posture, we're targeting the gallbladder meridian. This meridian pathway runs from the outer corner of the eye, zigzags behind the ear and across the side of the head to the forehead, then runs up and over the head, down the neck to the top of the shoulder, and zigzags down the side of the body to the side of the hip, then runs down the outside of the leg to the ankle, over the foot to the tip of the fourth toe. So in this posture, we're really stretching through or working through the section which runs down the outside of the leg or outside of the hip and down the outer leg to the ankle. Relaxing into your pose now Finding stillness will be here for some time. Moving slowly, pushing back up now, we're going to switch to the other side. So again, starting from an all fours position, this time bringing the right leg in, for in front, bending at the knee. The left leg comes straight back behind you. Remembering that that right knee can be directly in front of the body or you could try moving it slightly to the left or the right, 
right foot can be towards the hip or further up towards the top of the mat. Hips might be on the ground or floating in the air or perhaps rolling to rest one hip or the other on the mat. This side may feel quite different to the last side and so again I invite you if you're experiencing any pain or pinching in that front knee to flip onto your back for the figure four stretch. So if you're in this sleeping swan then just allowing your body to come towards the ground. Once you're in position allow your body to relax. Breathing into any tension you may be feeling in the glutes and outer hip. So again, moving slowly, pushing the body back up. We're going to be taking another rebound now. So you might like to remain lying on your front or perhaps move on to your back. Coming into a comfortable, relaxed position, which allows you to notice the effects of the last posture. Notice how you're feeling down the outside of the hips and thighs.
We'll be moving into our next position from lying on the back. So if you're not already there, just come to lying back on your mat. We're going to bring both knees in towards the chest. Then taking the feet towards the sky, taking hold of the feet. We're coming into the happy baby position. So you can hold your feet either from the inside or the outside, whatever is most comfortable or accessible to you. Maybe pulling down slightly to feel a stretch down the inside of the thighs. Find your position and then try to settle into stillness. Some of the symptoms we might experience when our wood element is out of balance include symptoms such as fatigue, headaches, dry eyes, neck or shoulder tension, tightness in the chest, and the emotions of anger, frustration, and a lack of motivation. Because the wood element is responsible for the storage of blood, we may also experience poor circulation, including cold hands and feet. And women may experience PMS or menstrual cycle irregularities. Moving slowly, release the feet and return to lying on your back for our next rebound. Let go of any tension. Allow your body to fully relax here, feeling the echo of the pose. Remain lying on your back 
and when you're ready, take hold of opposite elbows above your head. Try to keep your hips where they are and shuffle your head and shoulders towards the left side of the mat. Once there, again, keeping your hips as still as possible, try to move your legs towards the left as well. So you're coming into a banana shape. You should feel a stretch here all the way down the right side of your body. You can always try crossing your ankles to lock yourself in position. Either ankle can be on top. And it doesn't matter how far you're bending towards the left, as long as you're feeling something down the right side of your body. So what can we do when our wood element is out of balance? Well, exercise is of course always a good thing, and practices such as yoga and meditation are particularly helpful in harmonizing the wood element. Try to avoid burying emotions. Let go of perfectionistic tendencies. And try to get enough sleep, making sure you get to bed before 11 p.m. It's believed that Chinese herbs and acupuncture can also be helpful in harmonizing the wood element. Gently move your body back into a neutral position now. We're going to take the posture to the other side. So again, keeping hold of opposite elbows above your head and trying to keep your hips where they are. Shuffle your head and shoulders towards the right side of the mat this time. Once there, try to move your legs towards the right. So you're coming into that banana shape. Feeling a stretch all the way down the left side of your body this time. Remember you can try crossing your ankles. Either ankle on top is okay.
Other ways to harmonise the wood element include taking a good quality clean diet, avoiding processed foods and too much cold foods or too much dairy. Try to practice mindful eating when you are relaxed and try to avoid overeating. Gently moving your body back into a neutral position now. We'll take another short rebound here before we move into our final active pose of this practice. From lying on your back, bring both knees in to the, towards the chest, just give them a little squeeze here. Then allowing your left leg to come down towards the mat, holding onto the right knee, we're going to twist that right leg across the body. You can use your opposite hand to guide the knee towards the ground. 
You could always use a block under the knee if it doesn't reach the ground. Arms could be resting on the body here or come out to the sides or even up above your head. Perhaps try turning the head towards the left or the right. Just seeing what impact that has on the posture and what feels right for you today. In this pose, the spine is in a lovely twist and you'll also be feeling some stretch through the side muscles, the obliques, and maybe also in the glute muscles of the top leg. When our wood element is out of balance, we can emotionally feel very angry, ill-tempered, temperamental, suffer mood swings, and even be impulsive, defensive, and divisive. When it is harmonized, we are flexible, adaptable, discerning, and compassionate. Gently unwinding and coming back to the center. We're going to take the twist to the other side. So again, start by bringing both knees into the chest. Then allow your right leg to come straight down the mat, bringing the other knee across the body down towards the ground. You could keep the weight of your hand on the knee here to help so sort of leverage into that twist. Or arms could rest on the body, come out to the sides or up above your head. Again, we're in a lovely spinal twist here, twisting all the way down the spine, 
stretching through the side muscles and maybe also the glute or hip muscles of the top leg. As this is our last active pose for today, try to let go of any thoughts now. Relax into the position and just enjoy the sense of stillness here. Slowly unwind and make your way into your preferred resting position for our Shavasana now. Perhaps lying on your back, arms and legs comfortable on the mat. Make sure you're warm enough, make any adjustments that you need to your position and then settle and allow your body to relax. Take one big deep inhale and exhale and then return to your normal breath. During our practice today, we have used postures which stretch the pathways of the gallbladder and liver meridians to help remove any stagnation or blockages in those energy pathways restore a healthy flow of chi and support the harmonization of the wood element. Take your attention now to the areas of the body we have gently stressed. The inner legs, inner thighs, 
the outer sides of the body, the outer thighs and sides of the torso. Perhaps you're noticing a slight tingling sensation here. Perhaps the body feels a little warmer or cooler in those areas. Perhaps you can sense a change in the blood flow, the circulation, the flow of energy within the body. Try to notice what it is you're experiencing.
Slowly start to bring your attention back now. Visualize the position of your body on the mat. Start to bring some gentle movement to the body, perhaps wriggling the fingers and toes. You might like to try pulling your knees into the chest or even taking a big stretch. When you're ready, begin your journey back to a seated position and gently open your eyes. I hope you've enjoyed this practice for the wood element. Hopefully you weren't too distracted throughout the practice by my furry protector here. From us both, Namaste.